Greetings technicians, this is Admin Crow here, your coach of the Toronto Star Raptors, bringing you Season 1 Week 4 Battle vs Britton Brock, coached by Snow Daddy. So in this video, I'm just going to be going over uh, some of the sets and my thought process uh, going into this battle and uh, explaining my turn to turn uh, play accordingly. So why don't we just get started? So looking at the team preview alone, I see no Pangoro, so which is very good for me. Uh, that means he doesn't really have a solid answer against my P2. It uh, also means that my uh, my my tech is not gonna work uh, to trace the pixelate ability from Sylveon and potentially um, Oko the Pangoro with uh, trial attack. Uh, anyways, uh, the the fact that he doesn't have Pangoro is very good for me. Um, he, from the team preview alone, I don't see any immediate. Uh, answers to my P2, so that's always my backup plan. And also that he doesn't bring the lantern, uh, meaning that he doesn't really have a cocoa switching or electric immunity uh, per se, or even resistance. So Coco is going to be putting in a lot of work. However, uh, he is just. Uh, um, I am bringing a support set this week. I want my Kieran Black to shine more so than anything. So let's just hop into the battle, see how I do. So. Um, Turn 1 here, I'm just going to be leading with my Coco like my initial plan as he's going to be leading with his Fortress. I'm just going to go for the full switch. That full switch actually did a lot since he doesn't really have a, obviously a electric immunity like, like I mentioned before. Um, so I don't need to go for the U-turn. And I do bring down the, uh, the Fortress to below 25% and trigger his berry. Uh, it, it is a plus speed berry. Um, uh, so at this point, um, it actually took, it took me a while to uh, go into my Darmanitan, my uh, Endeavor, um, uh, simply because I was afraid of the explosion or any sort of uh, attack he was trying to do. Um, I think the... I don't even know what this berry is called. Salak Berry? Is it Salak Berry? Yeah, Salak Berry. The Salak Berry um, is it, sort of like a uh, replacement for Custard Berry because Custard Berry is not... Um, you know, released uh, obviously in the official game yet. Um, so I'm just gonna go into my Darmanitan anyway, so so I can pressure him offensively the following turn. As you can see, he actually outsped my Darmanitan on the following turn um, and go for Toxic Spikes. That's actually pretty bad for me. So my switches becomes limited. So he not only got, got up rocks and a layer of T spikes against me. That's gonna be wearing down my T P2 for sure. Um, and um, as I mentioned in the team builder, I'm not bringing hazard control this week, nor hazards. I uh, just brought a fully, uh, full offens uh, fully offensive team with B2. Uh, so over here, I do go for a flare blitz and get the KO on the uh, fortress. Um, he does go into his T-Tar over here for the, uh, I guess, uh, on his free switching. Uh, I'm not sure, I think he forgot that Darmenta actually get fighting coverage or something, just thinking that I'm a really strong fire type. So over here, I'm actually just gonna straight up stay in and Oko him with a life orb boosted uh, superpower. Uh, the life orb didn't really matter, it's a uh, Darmanitan with 140 base attack. I'm just gonna be knocking that thing out, one of the biggest threats against my team, um, since he didn't really bring the Kingdra. So he's gonna go into his Ember Palm on the free switching uh, to force me out of my Darmanitan as I go into my Gunganeer the Celestia to take the potential fake out, as he does go for right there. Um, as we can see, actually I don't see his item right here, so it, it wasn't Life Orb. So I took this opportunity, the opportunity to set up one Autonomize. So I know that I'm going to be outspeeding him, uh, since for a fact that he does go for the Fake Out and into Power of Punch, I know that he's not Scarfed. Um, and right now, on this turn, I should be faster. Um, Yes, and as I am, I do go for the Flash Cannon. I was actually afraid of a potential Thunder Punch coming from him. As you can see, I do have the terrain still going because my terrain extender on my Coco. Um, I was afraid that he might take advantage of the terrain and go for a Thunder Punch, but I don't really uh, have a switch into that, and I don't want to go into my TP2, especially after I already set up with my Celestia. Um, as he actually go for another Power of Punch, um, so I was be gonna be able to uh, knock him out on the following turn with another flash cannon to really get my beast boost going um, as I get uh, I guess one stage of special attack boost from here um, 
he goes into his armory. Uh, it doesn't really matter what mod he goes into um, at this point, as I am packing coverage for uh, all the remaining me remaining members of his team. He his best way of hitting me was actually Ironhead, as he reveals right here. There's really not much he can do at this point, so um, he actually brought me down to my I pop very range. So I actually kind of meme it up a little bit. Uh, as far as I know, Breeder Joe or Snow Daddy, he's a VGC player. He tends to run a lot of berries in his uh, past games. So I actually brought a pop berry on my uh, Gangneer, the Salastira this week, uh, as, just to try to bring some berry to the berry house, right? And then he actually turned out to, you know, uh, putting a lot of work as it. As you can see here, I just eat up that juicy berry and brought me all the way back to 70%. I'm just gonna knock out that uh, Skarmory with uh, another flamethrower. The burn on Skarmory didn't really matter. Uh, I was gonna be able to lift that Iron Head regardless if that was the best way he had to hit me with. So over here, he actually went for the sin. sin. I can I can see that as a last ditch effort, try to get back into this game or just force out my Gunner. But uh, unfortunately, he didn't land as I would be able to knock him out with the Energy Ball and the Sylveon on the following turn with another Flash Cam. So this week is going to be a really short one, um, as I believe in the beginning um, of my pink team builder, I did mention that I do have the matchup, and uh, the only thing he really got for me was that Pangoro for my P2. And aside from that, he not only doesn't have a ground type as a electric immunity, and on top of that, he didn't bring his lantern, um, which I in fact prepped for. So I do have a lot of wing cons at the back as well. Too bad I didn't really get. Uh, get um, to show off my Kieran Black set, which I was really hoping uh, to do, uh, since I am packing the Electrum Z with uh, uh, Bow Strike, not Bow Strike, um, Fusion Bolt. Wait, was it? Yeah, Fusion Bolt. Uh, so I really want to drop a uh, Electrum Z in the Coco's boosted uh, electric terrain and be able to knock one hit KO the uh, potential Skarmory or the um, Lantern with one hit just because uh, my ability Terror Bolt ignores Sturdy and Bolt Absorb. So I guess um, it's nice that we picked up a 6 0, but uh, I was kind of disappointed that uh, I didn't really get to show off too, off too much of my stats and um, Darmanitan really didn't get to shine this week uh, despite it being his first um, appear ap appearance. So that's going to be it coming from me this week. Uh, it's going to be a short one. If you guys enjoyed, uh, make sure you check out the team builder in the link down below. So I guess uh, that's going to be it from me. Admin Crow here, signing off. See you in the next one, technicians. Goodbye.